it finally happening? How am I supposed to know? It's been in preparation since the end of last year. <laughs> I'm probably so concerned about this anyway. Like, you're acting so... Save your simile. Why aren't you concerned about him? He is your best friend. I am an adult male. My primary concern right now is eating this sandwich while the melted cheese still complements the crunchy bread. Your bread will still be crunchy in time for you to answer my question. I did. I said, how am I supposed to know? You answered it with a question, which then I answered for you. Thanks, Lisa. Shut up. Do you ever wonder how you're gonna die? I didn't mean that in a dark, ambiguous, Louis C.K. kind of way. Nor am I trying to make some sort of religious statement. I mean, I'm in college. It's kind of ignorant to say that I know everything. But, for the love of God, can we please stop talking about Todd's crunchy sandwich? The sandwich itself isn't crunchy, it's just the bread. I'm going to stab you. You know that, right? Oh, my impending death. I'm sold. Okay, you're an idiot. And fine, if you don't want to talk about Ben and his lady friend who, if they got together, would replace yin and yang as a metaphor for relationships, fine. I'm past it. Let's move on. Is there any more egg pizza up there? Hi guys, I'm Becky. Do you three have a quick minute to take my survey? Uh, the Meat is Murder Club is petitioning to have a vegan week at school. Why would you do such a thing? I'm sorry, Becky. We can't take your survey. We're kind of busy with our own demise. Oh, well, an estimated billions, uh, oh gosh, uh, millions of poor, innocent, loving creatures meet their demise because of- Look, I'm sure that pitch sounds nice in the mirror, but the short answer is no. No, I don't have time for your survey or your rally in the quad, and I don't want to buy a t-shirt spreading cow fart awareness. So if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to staring at this empty tray of egg pizza. Thank you. new dorms. I remember everyone making such a big fuss last year over the fire alarms, so I let myself think that wouldn't be much of a problem. We're in college, Lisa. We can't afford such luxuries. Accutane meds kick in yet, Melanie? I'm not sure. I'm starting to get tired when I wake up, though. Moving on, so I hop in the shower. You brush your teeth before you shower? Also, why do you have seven different bottles to wash with? You know how many bottles I have in my apartment? Two, one being toothpaste. You let him in here? You let us both in here. This is your flashback. Oh, grow up with the curtain. I've known you since you were six. But he hasn't. Don't worry about me here. Since this flashback is purely from your point of view just for the sake of advancing the plot, you have none of my usual male tendencies. I'm practically a eunuch in this place. Really? No. Ugh. Really? That's just it. If it's some faulty wiring issue and I'm late on the second day back and I'm stuck outside hair dripping in my supernatural bathrobe with the other schmucks who just happen to be in their rooms at the same time. Or risk getting charcoal. <laughs> All I wanted to do was get to astronomy on time. Why do I even have to take that class? I'm a psych major. Wait, you're blaming this near-death experience on the registrar's office? This situation sounds self-inflicted. Thank you, doctor. Oh, they're finally restarting. You did it, you did it, you did it. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Hey, are uh, they serving the French toast today? Oh, God. Not bad? Dang. What did she do to you? She shot him down. She rejected you? I'll shave her head. I never liked her anyway. Pump your brakes. What makes you guys so telepathic? You always eat bread when you're sad. Freshman year, you crushed my Wonder Bread care package from home when you watched the How I Met Your Mother finale. Well, what was the point of the entire series if he was just gonna end up with Robin? Hey man, let's do it. Weren't you gonna get egg pizza? <sighs> he ran out and I don't wanna talk about it. He's asking for French toast again. <laughs> Watching I Met Your Mother again? No, you imbecile. He was asking Kirsty out. Crap! Duh, how did it go? Todd, French toast. Sorry, what happened, dude? I thought you had this locked down. So, I was heading to the lounge, 
and I knew she would be there because she gets breakfast early. In the How morning. did you know that? The minithon all last semester, we went there for the meetings. It was taking place at every breakfast. Okay, just double checking your sanity. Continue. So I was there thinking, what's better for some one-on-one -on -one time? <laughs> That's hot. I know, right? Except, I she wasn't alone. Was she with her dad? No. Her ex? No. Her dad with her ex? Dude, man. <laughs> you, you know what? Just, just screw all you. Sorry. Come on now. What happened? Like I said, she wasn't alone. Her friends. They were there with her. I was really expecting this, so then my insecurities kicked in. Hey! She's pretty cute. Natural smile, bubbly voice complimenting her personality. you think the sweats would subtract from her hotness, but it's very subtle and approachable. Anyway, she's not gonna say yes. How could you possibly know that? I really don't, but would you risk the embarrassment of being rejected even in front of all of her friend? Dude, why you always gotta be like that? Like what? Always busting my boys. I'm getting pretty sick of it. I'll tell you why. Cause you always think I'm right. Just say the word and I'm gone. But you always need me here. Just admit it, come on. Well, you know what? That ends today. I'm sick of this undermining bull crap and the condescension. Well, good luck. I hope you do well, just like you did with the perm, the fedora. Hey man, that hat was cool. It matched my Arizona shorts. And that shirt you're gonna wear this morning instead of this beautiful ensemble we have today. You know what? I'm over this. I'm going. All right, man, get over here. Just go over there, mess up or not, whatever. But just remember your track record. I'm gonna leave you with one more thing. What? Your shoes are untied. Hey, what? <clears throat> Ow. Gotcha. Uh, but really, bro, your zipper's undone. So, what exactly did you say to her? That's just it. I don't remember what I said. Oh, oh come, come on. Come on, man. How, how do you not remember? I'm just oh. the time with someone. Oh, so you remember every conversation you ever had? Can you take a guess? Something? I would like to think it's something like... Hey, I want to ask you out. Not on some hoaxy Netflix and chill thing, but I want to get you dressed up real nice, take you out to a nice restaurant, and treat you like the woman you are. Aww. It would have worked on me. I know, right? I mean, I know I said something. I know I put words together, and those words formed a sentence, and that sentence somehow conveyed my message to her. I just don't remember what I said. Guys, did I blow it? No, 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 no. Depends. Dude. Let, let him talk. No, well, you don't know what you said, so that means we don't know what you said. So we don't really know if you blew it or not. So, good news. You're right back where you started. I think it says that on our diplomas. Yeah, well, I'm hungry now, so I'm gonna tend to this. I'll go with you. Poor Ben, huh? Ah, he's been through worse. Remember that time he thought he could rock a perm haircut? <laughs> Stop! He's more fragile than usual right now. He needs our devoted attention for at least a day or two. Right. So we hooking up again or what? Oh my god! How could you think about that at a time like this? Hey, dude, the other night was fun. Plus, I haven't seen you since, and we're in a separate conversation circle right now, so I thought I'd bring it up. I think it's a pretty good time to talk We should about. talk about it in like a private place, no, like later, right just now. not right oh, now. Yeah, I, I don't absolutely. think we should talk about it right no, now. Maybe hey, later. Hey, you guys! Just do it right here. What? Hey, Lisa, could I borrow your lab notes from yesterday? My idiot roommate threw mine out. Oh, yeah, sure. I don't have them right now, but I can give them to you at lunch. Thanks so much. You're a lifesaver. Oh, and if you see Ben, could you tell him absolutely, but only if it's okay with him? He'll know what I mean. Thanks. Kirsty, wait. Sipping my reflection from the leaves